So here we have the Toyota Igo on a 68 plate. So I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see that given the size of the vehicle, we've got a very deep boot, so not bad at all for boot space. And we have that 50-50 split folding rear seat so that you can increase this space further should you wish to do that. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. We have the rev counter over on the left-hand side. We have the speedometer in the middle. Within that, you can then see the fuel gauge for the car uh, and the main trip computer. So you can change the information that's displayed up here using buttons on the steering wheel. Um, and you can circle your way through various bits of trip computer information and the total miles for this car, which are 13,770. We back out to the steering wheel. We have stereo controls on the left-hand side and then phone controls on the right-hand side along with cruise control underneath that. And in the centre, you'll find the main touch screen for the car. So we're on the uh, audio menu there at the moment. You can see we have FM, AM and DAB radio, USB input, Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly as well as making and receiving phone calls. And we've got auxiliary input as well. On top of all of that, we have a reversing camera. Uh, that has guidelines showing you what direction the vehicle is headed in in relation to the image that you're looking at on the screen as well and then below that we have the air conditioning so you can adjust the fan speed the temperature the direction the air is being distributed in and when you're happy with those settings your air conditioning is off at the moment back on again when that light shows we've got a heated rear screen as well we can bring in fresh air from outside the car or recirculate the air that's in it. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly depending on the temperature you set here. And then beneath that, we have a 12 volt charging socket, USB input and auxiliary input as well. Two cup holders and a five speed manual gearbox. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.